Now, speaking of politics, is it ruining everything? Well, it turns out, according to new research, it is. Political polarization is creeping into more and more areas of life and having some very real consequences. It's affecting relationships with your family, your friends, making people lonelier overall. Research also shows that people will take lower paying jobs for political reasons. It's also affecting what you buy, turns out, a majority of people are willing to boycott or buy products from brands with similar social or political views, meaning sometimes you'll pay more or get less from products. So what do you think, TBL Nation? Always love to hear from you. And do you think that we can change, Tori? I disagree with this concept that it's a bad idea to put politics and personal together. I think politics is personal. It tells me about my medical conditions, my medical directions that I can do, whether I can vote, whether I can have a bank account. To me, politics and personalization are one and the same, so I will use my heart to vote that way. Now, I understand we're not having conversations anymore because they're getting hostile, and that's what we need to change. It's all about conversation. Do you agree? Yeah, but I, I don't like the judgment, the quick judgment that people jump to, right? If you get offered a free trip and a great $1,000 round of golf at one of Trump's golf courses, you're putting a message out there, right? Whether the trip was free, whatever your political beliefs are, if you go to that golf course, you're putting a message out there. And I don't like how society immediately jumps at those messages. I'm not planning a trip to Trump golf course, just to be clear, <laughs> just using an example. I actually used to think the way you did until everything happened with my brother-in-law, Eric, who's mm. still, by the way, in the ICU, in, in, a, in a medically induced coma. Pray for him, I believe he will be okay. But what I saw, family members and friends who had stark different political affiliations and beliefs um, as me, completely on opposite sides of the spectrum, have been there for me more than some of the people that I thought that I was aligned with. Mm. So what did I learn? I don't care literally what side of the aisle you're on or what your beliefs are it's the people that pick you up when you fall and it's the people that are there for you when your family's going through the toughest times of your life and so what i've learned is really we all believe red and we're all Americans, we're all in this together, and I, uh, if anything, if there is a silver lining for what my family's been through lately because of COVID, it's the fact that um, despite who you voted for, um, there's been some pretty incredible selfless people out there, and I take that to heart. Coming up on DBL Live on the show, Aaron